Well, we got the squash van in the house. And uh, it's on the GFO2 chassis. Brand new kit from Tamiya. Let's open it up and have a look and see what's inside. Alright, let's uh, let's rip the lid off of this dude and see what's inside. That was so close to being cool. Okay, well, awesome. The deckle sheet's right on top. And it looks pretty, uh, pretty cool. Who knows how many of them we'll use. But uh, we'll get to that. We get other issues ahead of us before we get to the deco sheet. And we got instructions are next. Love to me instructions. Always take a moment to appreciate and enjoy the beauty that is a Tamiya instruction. Ah, oh, man, isn't that just a a thing of beauty? Okay, let's so get that. A list of squash van parts and of course the do's and don'ts which we don't do and what do we got antenna pipe and some tires blackfoot tires hmm look at this hard as a rock man and we got the body which is awesome because the um, what do you call them? The wheel arches are already cut out. The body holes are already punched in. Nice looking little van body. Kind of like a, a midnight pumpkin uh, front end with the van on the back. So that's cool. And then what do we got? What do we got in here? We got black parts, black parts, black parts, more black parts, chassis black parts, black parts, white parts. And then in this box, I lost my knife, there's my knife. I think it's more black parts, but we'll see. Oh, it is, it is, it really is. More black parts. Gear parts. And more gear parts. Okay, so that's uh, awesome. We got bushings, brass bushings and plastic bushings. We got a stock motor. We got bag A, bag B. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good, unmarked. And bag C. So we got uh, a bag A, a bag B, a bag C, and a mystery bag. So maybe this will be uh, Mrs. Empty Pockets Christmas present, who knows, eh? I oh, want it's even got a couple extra little tiny itty bitty brass bushings in it. She'll really like that. And that's everything that's in the box. So let's get building Tamiya. chassis pretty much the same inside as the uh, Kong head chassis all the gears work the same way we're gonna put the sport tune motor in for now well that was a uh, bag a done we got the chassis all done we got the uh, gears put in the motor installed the motor cover put on and the front, uh, geez, I don't even know what they call it. It's a bumper mount, anyhow.
we got the squash end finished. Uh, body all cut out. And, but we're lacking paint. And yeah, about paint. Well, my paint booth is uh, a little bit messed up right now. So uh, I won't be painting the squash fan anytime soon. The paint booth is all covered in snow and cold, so that's not happening right now. But I got a plan. I got a plan. We'll see if we can make something happen. I didn't like any of the paint uh, jobs that we did last winter. None of them really turned out great. It was just too darn cold and the place I was working at had too many wood fibers in the wood shop there. So I had too many wood fibers getting into everything all the time, floating around in the air. Just didn't work out great. So anyway, squash van. Awesome. It actually has some suspension, so it's pretty darn good. Um, I really took my time and tidied up the wiring. I like to do a good job of that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it uh, turned out pretty darn good. It's not too bad for just having the friction shocks on it. It uh, does what it's does what it's designed to do. It's Tamiya. So if we oh, there we go. And we put the four wheel steer on. So I just went with a Y wire. Uh, got my two, ser two servos hanging on the side. And it's pretty awesome. Four wheel steer. Simple enough. I just used a Y wire, comes out the receiver, splits, goes to each, uh, each servo. And the way it's set up is they turn like that, so you just turn really sharp. So that's fine. It's going to be a little bit touchy. You're going to turn really sharp. Don't do it at high speed. You're going to roll over. If you wanted to put it on a stick radio or a four channel radio, you could put each servo to a separate channel and have true four wheel steer where you could crab walk and everything. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, it all it all went together really well. So and there, yeah, it all went together really well. It's my squash van. Um, enjoyable kit to build. And work on the body paint there and everything. If not, we'll have to wait till the spring and paint it up. But uh, anyway, we got her built. We got her done. There it is. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. You know, you know the drill. Appreciate you guys.